crazy power, quick charging, futuristic style. This is a Porsche adjacent driving experience when it comes to the RS e-tron GT, the fastest model in the Audi lineup today. And we have it here at Audi Lakeland in Florida. Let's check this thing out. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where I have something pretty special behind me here today. An RS e-tron GT, the top of the line for the 2024 model year when it comes to not only electric Grand Tours, but also when it comes to Audi vehicles. This, well, this will replace the R8 in a sense. And you wanna know why and how is that possible? Well, keep in mind that this car has 637 horses. We'll get into the whole power aspect later, but 637 horses of pure electric power at your fingertips right away. That's what makes this thing crazy. So with that said, our first time being able to take a spin around the RS GT, let's see what this crazy electric performer is all about and if it's worth the hype. Now, big shout out to Audi Lakeland for letting us take a spin around the RS e-tron GT. If you guys are looking to get this model or any other Audis they have here, make sure you guys check the link in the description so you guys can get their phone number and website link and get one of these cars in your garage today. Now what's new for the 2024 model year when it comes to the Audi e-tron GT? A few things, I mean, just small minor changes like the Prestige and RS trims, getting new matrix LED headlights with laser beams. You also have things like the high beams that are augmented by blue laser spotlights that projects several hundred yards ahead, which we will see on this model here as well. Now you also get the light up theme continuing in the inside with all trims receiving LED interior lighting plus illuminated door sill and lay standard. You get a new power steering system which varies steering assist according to the speed and also now standard across the line is a six month subscription to Audi Connect plus infotainment app suite. Now, as always, we have to mention those dimensions because the RS GT is looking at a wheelbase of 114.2 inches with a length of 196.4 inches, a width of 77.3 inches, and a height of 54.9 inches with a curb weight of 5,171 pounds. Now, this is why you guys are here, the RS badging and what that means for this model in total. So, performance ahead. What are we looking at? Well, we have a front motor with a permanent magnet synchronous AC and a rear motor with a permanent magnet synchronous AC, which is going to give us a combined output of 637 horsepower and 612 pound feet of torque. Now, this battery pack is a liquid cool lithium ion 85 kilowatt battery, and the transmission is front and rear direct drive, two speed automatic. Now, what does that mean in terms of power? This is where it gets spicy. We're looking at a zero to 60 time in 2.9 seconds with a zero to 100 time in 6.9 seconds, the quarter mile in 127 seconds, or sorry, the quarter mile in 127 miles per hour and zero to 30, 130 miles per hour in 11.5 seconds with a zero to 150 in 16.5 seconds and a top speed limited to 156 miles per hour. This is the RS GT. So now let's do a spin around around this Mythos Black exterior. As you guys can see, it is completely black with some metallic flake here. Now with that flake, you're also getting the black optic package, which is gonna black out some badging and Audi rings, of course. And then you guys will have some new laser beam lights, as we talked about and some carbon fiber elements all throughout this car. So let's talk about up front. We talked about those laser lights, which we will see illuminated shortly, but you guys can see how cool they look. Again, we talked about the blue projectors there. You guys can see them plain as day without me even explaining them, but now you guys can see proof of the blue projection, which we will see everything illuminated uh, by the end of the video with the headlights, taillights, and the side markers as well. And you guys will see the reflector here done in orange too, because you know, America. Now with that said, we have carbon fiber side blades here, which are actually functional because they are used for um, airflow there. So you guys will see, go straight through right on that side there. And then we will come to the center where we have the textured pattern for the front fascia. I love this look. 
because it almost looks like very polygonal, you know, when it comes to this whole setup. And it's just some flair, some depth, and it's not boring, you know, it's not, they could have just made it smooth and just one big black piece, but they didn't. So I really like the design aspect of that. The Audi beam rings there, or Audi rings in black, not the beam rings, but the Audi rings in black. And then you will also see the front fascia with the lower half, showing you your sensors down there, as you guys can see those right there. They are nicely hidden under there as well, but you can see that that is airflow as well, all functional underneath there for airflow and you know downforce. Now you guys will see the front lip here, done in mythos black as well, with some gloss black mixed in for the ventilation here as well with pass through. You take a step back and look at all of it. And yeah, that looks pretty stellar. Now the side profile is so sleek. Look at that. That looks so good. And as you guys can see, the first thing you're gonna notice are those yellow calipers in these 20 inch aero wheels. And with that, it looks kind of like a carbon aspect when it comes to these black pieces, but they're just gloss black with some pattern and textile on it with the RS badging, letting you know what kind of wheels we're dealing with here. But the Audi caliper with yellow looks so good on this black spec. I really love the way that that looks. Now I'll talk about that door that's in the front fender in just a moment, because remember there are two doors for two specific reasons. Now the rest of the side profile completely blacked out. Black mirror caps, black door handles, black B pillar, black window moldings, everything is black. Even the roof here is completely glass. It looks completely black, but it's all glass for the roof up here. And it looks so good. As you can see, it's tinted from the rear glass here. So it is definitely kind of keeping you protected there and not letting sun just completely heat up your car and completely burn your lives. So it is nice that they tinted that window um, to kind of keep things very civil. But with that said, taking a look at the side profile, it looks pretty good, right? There's one thing that I missed that I completely overlooked, but it's because Audi did such a good job at integrating it into the front fender. And that is the pass through here, more aerodynamics right there. You can see the tire straight through. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but the tire right here, yeah, that pass through is right there. So again, it's really good how they have the design for airflow and aerodynamics and it all matches up so well together. I love the rear profile of the RS GT. I mean, come on, and black, this Mythos Black is just showing out with the black badging the carbon fiber i mean come on check out check out the black audi rings of course right but then the rs badge looks so cool with that red contrasting with the red light bar going all the way across the rear and then the e-tron gt badging done in black now not only that we have the gloss black rear diffuser which is very aggressive but then you also have the carbon fiber insert right up top here going across adding some styling flair and overall lightness to the vehicle. Take a step back and just look at that. How cool does this thing look? It looks like a spaceship from the rear. Now, since we have this one open on this side automatically, I told you I was gonna let you know about this door and the other door. So we'll flip it around and get to the other door in just a moment. But this is one of your charging doors as you guys have already guessed. And as you guys can see, this is not for your fast charging. This is for your, I wanna say, a level one charging. So when it comes to the e-tron GT, well, you're looking at a 83.7 lithium ion battery pack. Now, the estimated range for the RS is around 232 to 240 miles, and it can be charged from five to 80% of its battery capacity in a claim 23 minutes using the standard 270 kilowatt DC fast charger. We'll talk about that fast charger in just a moment, but as you guys can see, this one is not the fast charger because it's, kind of, I guess I wanna say it's capabilities, but the plug, you can tell by the plug that this is your regular charging pack or a regular charging plug when it comes to the RSGT. Now the RSGT does come with a charger on board and that is an 11 kilowatt charger that will fit this module, but there is an adapter that will go to the faster charger module on the other side in case you wanted to charge faster at your home as well. And also that side you would use to plug in at a fast charger at a public place. So now just for reference, here's the other door. As you guys can see, we're on the other side. And you guys will see now 
open that up and you can do fast charging on this side you can do both obviously the same as the other side with this cap up but then when you put the cap down that is for your fast charging so it's nice that you can pull in on either side and do your regular charging speeds if you want it to but if you want to do fast charging obviously you have to pull in with this on the side now the e-tron gt does have a front and as you guys can see it's a pretty decent size about 1.8 cubic feet of space when it comes to the front and as you guys can see it's pretty deep down there you do have a light fixture right there as well to give you a little bit of illumination but it does have a front everything under here is pretty clean really what you want to worry about is your windshield wiper fluid right there other than that your front can be accessed through the interior of the car so it's going to be in the door jammer section of the vehicle just in case you're wondering it's a little hidden back there but that is how you open up your front when you need to get to that 1.8 cubic feet of space now when it comes to the capacity of the e-tron gt you're looking at around 12 cubic feet of space and as you guys can see it's pretty deep so that 12 cubic feet checks out you do have rear folding seats as you guys can see 40 20 40 for the split there with the 20 being in the center there and then you guys will see we got a little deep pocket storage i want to say deep but yeah it's like yeah i can fit my whole arm in there uh well at least my hand in there and then you can you know take your cargo net store a couple things and you got that deep pocket on this side as well which is really cool because you do have a false floor now you guys can see the net here but let's pull up this false floor and yeah it's a shelf it's not much of a false floor but it is a false floor to have your stowage on each side in here which will be perfect for your 11 kilowatt charger that you have stuck away in here so with that said this is wrapped up pretty good let's see if we can get it unwrapped so i failed royally at showing you guys this by opening it up with one hand but this is our charger here and as you guys can see you can plug this into the home the three prong outlet this right here will go here and this will plug into the car and as you guys can see how it's set up this is set up for regular charging like the uh, driver's side plug and the uh, passenger side plug but not for fast charging again the fast charging will be if you get an adapter for this and that adapter will plug into here instead of this one it will be this they'll plug into here and you can use that charger to charge a little bit faster at home or you can use the fast chargers that we have at public stations now what would be called your fuel economy for the e-tron gt would be 71 mpge that's 70 miles per hour highway driving at 83 mpge and a highway range of 240 miles where your epa combined is 82 mpge for the highway is 83 mpge and for the city is 81 mpge with a range of 238 miles now as promised i want to show you that illumination as i was bragging about with these laser beams look at those look at how crazy those look insane for the headlight units and as you guys can see sequentials per usual when it comes to audi flavors that looks so futuristic laser beams in your audi e-tron gt you guys will see on the mirror cap got an amber as well for the turn signal there and then coming to the rear that big tail light bar all the way across to the quenchels as well here look at how cool that looks again even feeding that spaceship aspect that we were talking about earlier that's a sweet looking setup now you guys know why i want to show you the rs key fob because it literally matches the car right now this spec look at that literally matches the spec but rs means something special right here panic button there we have a physical key button we press that pull out a physical key fob also with that aluminum surround all the way around we get the other side completely black for the housing with the lock the trunk release the unlock and the audi beam rings there now let's check out the interior of the rs gt all the best things you want are inside of this car napa leather alcantara carbon fiber aluminum i mean it's all here let's start with the side sill the rs side sill with the carbon fiber uh sill here and it's illuminated now this is covered up for obvious reasons but this is part of a package you guys will see you also have the aluminum death pedal not death pedal the gas pedal and brake pedal the death pedal is done in that normal plastic you also have napa leather seating massage heated cooled 
bolster seating done with the honeycomb pattern perforated leather and the rs badging right there check that out looking really good against the pillars here that in that alcantara soft touch now when you look at the door panel that's going to show you everything you need to know right because the door panel shows off well napa leather for the uppers also the stitching also the carbon fiber insert there you guys see that and then we also have the alcantara all throughout as well looking really good we have the aluminum for the door handle we have napa leather for the armrest stitching as well we have our speaker set up for our main awesome sound system trunk release there we have our receipt memories there and we have our window controls and mirror controls right there on the armrest as well wow and now that we are inside let's talk about this because well it's a great place to be right let's find out a little bit more about what this is all about so foot on the brake and we have a nice red start stop right here in the center and now she's to life so here we are with this beautiful setup perforated leather all throughout the flat bottom steering wheel with the rs moniker right there i don't know why you guys can see that because of the glare there we go <laughs> it's there audi rings here i mean this looks good with the digital instrument cluster as you guys can see the glare is going to kill me but it's there and then we also have our infotainment screen here as well dual zone climate control all of our select modes there central tunnel here as well big piece of carbon fiber not only going from this side through the center over the glove box and with the e-tron badging right there in that gloss black going across and integrated into the um infotainment system but then that carbon fiber comes over to here and it blends right into the door i love how they did that design so you will see it over on this side too blending right into the door wow look up you get alcantara for the headliner and a big glass roof that is ginormous wow okay this is a great place guys this is going to be for your infotainment screen, not infotainment, your instrument cluster here for your digital speedo for these buttons here. You have hands-free controls, heated steering wheel and radio controls here. We have paddle shifters, regenerative braking. I know it's not necessarily like, you know, banging through gears. Regenerative braking for the paddle shifters. You also have the stocks right here on the back for the lighting controls, your windshield wiper controls and your driver assistance controls right down here. This is also a telescopic steering wheel and if I were to pull up, you guys will see it come forward, go down, and such. Now, with that said, you also have, where we can see it, that instrument cluster. I'm going to see how well we can change through these um, menus. Now, they're right here. Let's see how well we can get this to go. All right. So, I know it is glary, but you can change so many different things in here. You can put the navigation inside of here, radio. Um, the mobile devices, as you can see, the navigation is there, but I can make my dials bigger and put it in the center. I can also change the different information, zoom in. So if I go out of this and I go over to this, I can scroll up and down these sub menus. There's just so much you can do um, bouncing in between this thing. Same with the infotainment screen. We know this system very well in all Audi models. And as you guys can see, it's the same thing for the e-tron GT. Um, I mean, what more is to say? You know, very responsive, very intuitive, haptic feedback for the buttons. So it's going to be everything you guys know um, and love for these systems for the past couple of years here. And as you guys can see, we do have Amazon Alexa and, and everything integrated now in here as well. So that's a nice update, right? Then come back over to this side, you have haptic buttons again, but for your lighting controls here as well. I wanna say that before I forget it. And then coming back over here, dual zone climate control, as you guys can see here, with heated seats and ventilated seats here as well. Now you'll also see right here, a couple of things that we need to know. Well, first, our drive select, which is gonna give us our drive modes, efficiency, comfort, and dynamic. Dynamic being your most aggressive driving mode. Then you will have your traction off button there, hazard button there, parking for your rear view camera. We can do 3D as well, and I love doing this each time i feel like a kid playing a video game on an ipad and literally i love spinning around in real time where i'm at i think that's one of the coolest things you can do as far as all of this technology goes but with that said you also have your park assist there 
and then you can turn off the screen using that right there now right here well what is that you know you're, you're wondering that's kind of like hidden in there well keep in mind this is actually your park assist plus option now uh, it's currently unavailable but you do have that on here as well for park assist plus when that is all available it will light up and then right underneath that is your parking brake your electric parking brake no sorry 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 taking that back this is your regular park button that's your regular park button okay <laughs> i always get that mixed up regular park button because if i were to put this in the drive press that and i'm in park all right so it's automatically in park that is how that works all right parking brake automatically applied all right so don't worry about that a little extra storage here gloss black central tunnel here and napa leather on the sides as well with the stitching you can see the radio controls here as well with the cup holder which i'm using so so nicely and then if you press this aluminum button here you'll open up the armrest you guys will see you guys will probably barely see but there is usb c plugins right here as well so yeah you can kind of get into this little armrest it's there it's Look up and we do have the compass in the mirror for the digital mirror there. We also have our dome light, flood light, everything, SOS up top there as well. And then if you were to pull down this Alcantara visor, lights and mirrors. Now the rear of the e-tron GT is going to look very similar to the front, right? So same beautiful honeycomb Napa leather perforated seats, as you guys can see there, looking very good. The side sill, it's done in carbon fiber, but it is covered up, obviously, to help, help protect it. The door paneling is going to let you know that we have Napa leather with stitching. We have the Alcantara soft touches, the aluminum for the door handle, the Bang & Austin sound system right down there. All that good stuff is here in the rear as well. We also have our dual zone climate with heated seat controls right here in the center. And then, obviously, the armrest is going to reveal some cup holders right there in the center these sport bucket seats just look so cool and then you look up and it's a completely glass roof what is not to love about the rear of the rsgt now let's talk about the pricing and everything we know about the 2024 audi rs e-tron gt because we have a starting price of 147,100 dollars before our options and our $14.95 destination charges, you guys can see there. So after all of that is said and done, we're looking at a total price of $158,690. So what do we get for all of that? Well, to start, we have some packages and some options like the Mythos Black Exterior uh, Paint, which is metallic, $595. You also have the black interior, which is included in the price. Now, the carbon performance package gives us $5,000 worth of goodies like all wheel steering, black Audi rings and badges, the carbon fiber door sills, illuminated carbon fiber side sills in the inlays as well. And then you have the full leather interior package at $4,500, which gives us fine apple leather seats with honeycomb stitching, heated leather wrapped steering wheel, leather covered dash doors and center console. And we also have the front sport seats with the side and leg bolsters and the ventilation and massage for the front seats then you have the panoramic fixed glass roof which is included so then you talk about inclusion well standard these are all the options you have for the e-tron gt so i'll make sure you guys see those as well as possible and make sure you guys check the link in the description to check out every detail you need to know about this car like the warranty and maintenance, which is four years, 50,000 miles, or whichever comes first, eight years, 100,000 miles, whichever comes first for the high, vol bolter, high voltage battery coverage, and a 12 years limited against corrosion perforation. Now, with that said, check it out one more time, screenshot, do what you need to do to see these options, zoom in, I'm gonna get as close as possible without messing up the focus, but what do you guys think about this?
So at $158,000 with just over 10,000 worth of options, how are you guys feeling about this spec for the RS GT? And are you impressed with everything you now know about this electric performer? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did want to help further support the channel, make sure you guys check the links in the description for Audi Lakeland's website and their phone number in case you guys want to get any of these cars that they have here on the lot. Also, make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up, you know, so you can get up in the rankings, more people can see it, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification notification bell so you guys don't miss one video and with that said you guys be blessed and have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next video peace